Today, I'm pleased to announce that a combined $36,000 will be going to these two Milton organizations. Those organizations Milton MP Adam Vancouverden is referring to are Community Living North Halton and Country Heritage Agricultural Society. Vancouverden made the announcement via Zoom at Country Heritage Park Thursday. He says the funding came from the local food infrastructure fund, which was launched in 2019. Backed by a federal investment of $50 million. This is one of the Food Policy for Canada's signature initiatives. Over the next four years, the fund will support community-led projects at urban gardens, food banks, community kitchens, greenhouses, and community organizations like the ones we're announcing today. One of the programs the funding supports is Community Living's Lunchbox Cafe. The organization's president, Greg Edmiston, says this program helps train adults with developmental disabilities to work in a kitchen. This grant from uh, Agriculture and the Agri Fund and the, the local uh, Food Infrastructure Fund is, is, has been just perfect in terms of timing. It's allowing us to, to, uh, um, to purchase a, a new modern gas stove, a fridge, uh, a, number of, a number of things, a specialty coffee maker, which is a big deal these days. And it's, uh, uh, it, it's gonna make us more relevant, but it's also gonna ensure that the folks that are training in our, in our uh, a cafe get it get an opportunity to use use modern equipment that they'll need to be familiar with when they uh, when they when they get out there in the community. Now for the Country Heritage Agricultural Society, President Jamie Reom says the funding will go towards work that is based around community. We have developed programs that are geared towards the center of excellence for food and farming education. These are important aspects inside an era where we've forgotten that our food comes from a farm somewhere. So we're teaching people this aspect. The program that we had worked in with the local food fund is actually the development of a bus and pooling system that will be used to transport inner city kids from Toronto to continue to work out on the farms outside of their area, comfortably come here to develop food boxes as well to go back. We're trying to encourage entrepreneurial spirit within food deserts, specifically Jane and Finch areas, but as well, we're gonna utilize it for food box programs within Halt and Region themselves. This is geared towards helping those that don't ever have enough. Now, these projects were two of over 300 projects that received money from the local food infrastructure fund. Applications are currently being accepted for phase two. Just go to the Government of Canada's website for details. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.